Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. One thing that you definitely want to avoid in your everyday um, coding practice is to write your password credential in the same script environment that you have your other um, data analysis or other codes available. And you have your password credentials for different systems for different reasons. It could be a database or um, any other system that you have some sort of credential instead of just doing this and writing the password in the same script what um, we're gonna do actually we're gonna use keyring as a package in python which store the information in kernel environment for you that you can access um, anonymously without actually entering the password in the same script so this is a bad habit just having the same password in the same script because you want to potentially uh, pass that uh, code script to your teammate, to others that of course, or in future for other users and you don't want to have your credential in the same place. It's, it's not a very good, it's a very bad um, security um, action. So um, in order to actually do the correct way, you need to install package keying in your environment that you're working. And then you need two different scripts. One script where you enter in your system in the kernel environment uh, for your Python. Um, you run this uh, keying set password, which is uh, needs three information. One, you just name um, some sort of uh, appropriate name for the system. So let's say I have some sort of database, some sort of login, I call it login XY. So XY is the name that I just put for that system, for that uh, login XY. And then that's my username and that's my password, whatever it is, um, uh, I, I put it. Now, from now on, in the environment, uh, the information is stored that for this login uh, system, based on this username, this is the pass string, right? So that's, you're done and you, you, you can store this, you just need to run it once, so in your environment that is saved. After that, you can actually delete it or store the password however you want, um, but you don't need to have that in your Python script uh, anymore. Now in a second separate script, when you're actually doing your data analysis, your other codes, you want to um, get the password screen, uh, string and use it. So this is how you actually do in your second script, you again import the queuing and now you use get password and the system name and the username that you are looking for. You could have multiple username for same. And if I run this, uh, what it does for me is after a while, it's going to find uh, my information in the kernel environment and get me the password for this username. So there you go, after a while when you run package, you can see the result of get password is the pass name that I was looking for. So from now, as you can see that I didn't need to actually get the information, I can directly input it and it's, it only works in my system because in my kernel environment, in this current system, in the local system, the password is actually um, selected. So if you pass it to anyone else, to another system, that password information is not in the script, no one can use it. And that's how you safely store your password using Qing. Hopefully this is useful for, uh, for you. Let me know if there is any issue or other question related to that in the comments. See you in next video.